What's up, naturalists? It's your girl, Leslie Treats. And I'm back at you again with another Naturalist skincare video. Since you're already here and you're already listening to me and you're already looking at my skin, my skin, and I feel like you got to adjust the whether or not you want to continue to watch your girl or whatever, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And while you're here, subscribe to my second channel, The Lifestyle of Leslie Latrice. It'll be linked in the description box below. So I've been struggling with my skin for about three months now. Don't ask me what happened. I think it was like a transition in my lifestyle, me adjusting to some new things, and maybe a change in diet might have also occurred. I couldn't pinpoint it for you. But I'm gonna show you all what I'm using now on the daily. So if you want to see more of that, be sure to stay tuned. All right, so the first step in my daily routine is of course cleansing my face. All right, so I rinse my face off, and then I use the Urban Skin RX Even Tone Cleansing Bar, a three-in-one treatment, so it brightens and improves uneven skin tone. Recently, I've been using a lot of products that improve uneven skin, as well as brightening, because I have had a lot of bumps um, uh, recently, so a lot of acne, and my skin, regardless of whether I leave the bump alone, don't touch the bump, pop the bump, I'm gonna get brown spots. I'm gonna show you all what I do or what I believe my theory is to clearing my brown spots later on in the video. So so right now, I wet the sponge. Oh, that was not a good idea. So I wet the sponge and I'm just gonna take it and put it all over my skin. I do this for about 30 seconds, excuse me, 60 seconds just to get it all over the place with the sponge this particular product comes with these sponges and it comes with two so about halfway through the jar is when I um, switched out the sponges but I be sh I'm sure to sanitize them before I use them Ooh. I got my eye y'all oh I got my eye <laughs> Be careful now, shoot. Here we go. Here we go, we in there now. So after I get it all over my face, I take the excess, right? I take the excess, I squeeze some in my hand. Squeeze them in my hand, right? All right, and then for the last 30 seconds, I just use my fingers to get all of it everywhere around my, my face. And you wanna be sure that you take the cleanser and you get down your neck and on your chest. For this case, I'm not gonna do my chest, but you wanna make sure you're cleaning all of it, okay? Okay, we got rinse, okay? We got rinse this bad boy. Be ready. Y'all, I just wanted to say I freaking love this towel. Okay, um, Mary Kay, which I'll be talking about very soon. Mary Kay sent this towel when I purchased one of my favorite charcoal masks. Um, and so I think it's amazing because I get to use it just for my face. That's just a disclaimer. Make sure when you're using a washcloth that you only have one that's for your face and that you are um, keeping it in a very clean and sanitized place to avoid bacteria. If you want to avoid bacteria altogether, use a paper towel or something like that. I personally just don't want to spend that much money on paper or waste paper, so I tend to just clean off my washcloth before I wash my face. So we've cleansed our face now. Step one is complete. We're gonna pat dry with a clean towel 
And then the next step is our mask. All right, so I use the Clear Proof Deep Cleansing Charcoal Mask by um, Mary Kay, as I mentioned before. Um, this is one of my favorite masks. I was introduced to this mask in 2016 um, by my friend Erin's sister, E. Marie. She is officially E. Marie on Instagram. So if you want to purchase this, I'll link her Instagram and then you can get in contact with her to purchase this particular product. But I like to use this mask. Um, I don't use this daily, but um, I use this between two to three times a week inside of my daily routine. Um, and I also alternate that with the uh, Even Tone Smooth and Glow Enzyme Mask by um, Urban Skin RX. So the reason I alternate, right? So this one I feel like helps to minimize my pores and just give me an overall deep feeling and a deep cleanse while the Urban Skin RX, this one helps me to maximize when I feel like my skin is just uneven or texture just feels off. I can use the Enzyme Mask to help with that. So two to three times for either one, I can alternate between the two, but these are the two masks that I tend to use that I alternate between. But for today though, we're gonna use my favorite one. I actually did a video on this a while back um, when I first got introduced to it. It's actually in my new playlist, my skincare playlist. Um, if you want to check it out, it's a review, an actual review just on this particular mask. I can't wait till this like dries up. That's my favorite part. Well, actually, my really favorite part is putting it on. Okay, it feels freaking awesome. And then my second favorite part is when it dries up. I can just feel my pores tightening, which is good. This is also really good to use a charcoal mask to help tighten your pores before like photo shoots. Um, so I tend to do that so that my makeup just sticks better. Okay y'all, so um, I'm going to let this sit on for about 10 minutes, 10 maybe 15 minutes for it to harden and then I'm going to come back. I want to just point this out that you need to make sure whatever tools you're using on your face is sanitized, is clean, okay? Because you do not want to put more bacteria on top of your face. I know you like sis, but you use the sponge. Sis, I cleaned it. I cleaned it before I used it, okay? And it stays in that jar so bacteria from the air doesn't get on it. When you think about sponges or or um, loofahs that you use in the shower, you don't enclose them anywhere. You leave them out in the shower or whatever. So you have just like all this bacteria that is just gathering on it. And then you go and throw soap on top of it and wash with it. So mm, that's not what I do, okay? So don't come for me, okay? Mm -mm. All right, so it stays in the container until I'm ready to use it and then even then I put some soap on it and I just kind of clean it off a little bit. Okay, I'll be back for y'all try to cover my throat. <laughs> y'all, we back. Oh man, it's tight. It's tight. Look, look. Ugh, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Coming in hot. I don't think you're supposed to do that, but it just makes me feel good. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm gonna just take some warm water and rinse my face off, and we're gonna continue into our routine, or my routine, okay? Let's see, dry lips. Ugh. Something about them dry lips just give me Chills. All right, so I'm gonna pat dry. All right, pat dry. 
And, and now we're gonna get to the third step of my routine, which is the exfoliating, all right? So I don't, ex again, this is daily, but like slash weekly. So I don't exfoliate, I don't exfoliate every day. But what I tend to do is the days that I don't mask are the days I exfoliate, right? I don't wanna do too much in one routine, so. But for the sake of this video, I will exfoliate. Okay, so I'm gonna use my um, facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. And these are like one of my favorites and really my go-tos because they are chemical exfoliant. It's a chemical exfoliant and not a physical exfoliant. Um, what I don't have in my routine right now is an actual physical exfoliant. So I'm looking for some um, recommendations. So if you have any, be sure to put them in the description below. I mean, excuse me, in the comment box below. But I'm just super nervous about them because I don't want them to irritate my skin. So I want really gentle exfoliants. Um, but for this case, I use the pads because they're a chemical exfoliant. They aren't rough on the skin and they're just activators, right? Activators to remove my dead skin cells. And I make sure that I take ample time in each location. Um, they have kind of like ribbed pad, a, a ribbed pad on this side and then just, you know, flat pad on that side. Yeah, right now my forehead is giving me the most problems. So I'm being sure to give it as much attention when it comes to exfoliating, right? And just make sure you're getting around, you know, your hairline and everything. People tend to forget that. And that's where people get a lot of irritation and bumps because you have still have dirt and stuff around your hairline. Especially if you're a natural girl because, you know, you use edge control like me. Or you have makeup that gets caked up in your edges. Be sure to pay close attention to your edges and your jawline. I've done a horrible job at that my jawline specifically because as you can see I have some brown spots and hyperpigmentation around my jawline which I normally don't get actually and I do the back of my neck too because my mom used to always say you got all that dirt around your neck look black not black because I'm black but black because it's dirty so I was like all right well we get on back there too <laughs> So, but make sure once you, you know, go travel down to your neck, you don't reapply this to your face. Okay? Okay. Show y'all this pack. Yeah. Ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Mostly from my neck, but. So I let the chemicals from the exfoliant um, dry into my skin a little bit. And then I move on to the next step, toner, right? I use a toner because I'm getting into the moisturizing part of my routine where I, you know, use the different products for moisture, which I'll get into. However, toner is meant to help your skin absorb whatever is being applied to it. So whether that be water, whether that be your serum that comes next, but whatever you're using to follow up that toner, the toner is used to help absorb. All right, so now that the um, the chemical exfoliant has, um, I feel like it has absorbed into my skin. But if you, you don't know what that feels like, then I would say wait about five minutes for your skin to dry before you use your toner, right? So I'm gonna, going to use the Red Rose Rose Water Hydrating Face Toner. So I'm just gonna take a couple, a lot actually. Be very gentle with your skin, y'all, okay? Toner apply. So, like I said, now I'm kind of, I'm gonna move straight into my serum so that my toner is still activated. And this is the Honey Bee Royal um, Prompulous Solution Serum. Okay, you don't uh, need a lot of serum, but you wanna take just your fingertips. Well, it's obviously not giving me a lot. Am I running out? Like, what the fuck is going on here? All right. Oh. Mm. Okay. Yes. Oh, I love serums. Oh my gosh. I just feel 
mm, it just feels so good going into the skin okay so here is where I take the most I have the most attention with drawing in moisture to my skin right a lot of people say you know oh my gosh I have all these bags under my eyes this is a time to take some time take about 60 seconds as my good soul um, the beautyologist is, is that her name the beautyologist as she always says um, 60 seconds to like really focus on your skin and what you want to do is when you get under your eyes just take your ring fingers go under there and just give it a little attention get the blood flowing okay and, and that'll help just kind of whew, just bring your eyes back to life if you also have a deep puffing utensil like this so you can use this under the eye right just to help get rid of some of those um just to help get rid of the puffiness I need to use this way more but oftentimes in the morning I'm just popping up and going to the PT so but you, you, you can use this and you can also just use it around the skin period um, my face does get puffy in the mornings but yeah Okay, so now that we have our serum all into our skin, honey, it just making us feel so much joy and glow and just radiance, period. Okay, now we're going to get into the sixth step. This step helps with my dark spots, right? This is what I believe can help you if you have more susceptible skin to these kind of products. Personally, I have used them and I honestly haven't noticed a fast change in my dark spots or my dark areas. Um, I think that my skin just naturally rebuilds itself within three months. So I tend to wait it out most times. But the past three months actually, I've been trying new products to help with dark spots or brightening of the skin because my skin has just been acting up. Now, if I just was dealing with one daggone dark spot, honey, I'd be okay. Honey, it'd be like a black hole. Done with it. Suck it up. But it's not. So, I was trying out different stuff. I'm going to tell you the two that I alternate between. Um, I use the Ordinary, the Vitamin C Suspension, as well as I use Urban Skin RX Retinol Rapid Repair in Dark Spot Treatment. So I couldn't tell you which one works better for me. I just recently started using the Ordinary and I've been sporadically using the Retinol. But be sure when you do use these that you are taking small amounts, you're not overdoing it because I know the Ordinary gets, it has this tingling sensation that I don't necessarily prefer. But you can couple it with your moisturizer and it completely minimizes the feeling. So for this video, I think I'm going to use the Ordinary with Vitamin C because it also helps with uneven skin tone and texture because I did not use my enzyme mask which actually facilitates that process as well. So we're going to use the Ordinary, okay? When I tell y'all just use a bit, okay? Just use a little dipple dabble daisy. Okay, just use a little dipple dabble daisy, honey. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. And focus on the areas that you have dark spots. Okay, I, I have them right around my chin right here, um, on this cheek over here, and just be gentle. And then right after that, we're not even going to waste no time with the seventh step. We're going to take our moisturizer. I'm using the Red Rose Hydrating Rose Face Cream. Y'all, I just love this. It has rose, geranium, and aloe vera, and jojoba. I just feel the most moisture from this. Like This is like one of the best um, handmade products that I've ever tried. So, 
again, this is the last time that I actually use the 60 second rule. So as y'all have seen throughout the video, I've used the 60 second rule, but not for everything. Use the 60 second rule for the first step, which is the cleansing step. And then I use it again for the serum step, right? And then the last time that I use the 60 second rule is during this step, the moisturizer step. And I want to use them like that because you want to get the most out of those steps. Cleansing, you want to get rid of all the dirt and everything that is just bothering your skin, sitting on top of your skin to include makeup and all that stuff. And then you also want to use it for the serum step because that's starting, that's starting your moisturizer process. And you definitely want to use it for the moisturizer step because you want to ensure that you your skin is absorb, absorbing as much as possible and that you're working all of the moisturizer into your pores. All right, y'all, so we are at the eighth and final step, which is your sunscreen. This here, y'all, this is the most slept on step of the whole routine. Your sunscreen, honey. Honey, honey. You have to, have to, have to, have to protect your skin from the sun. I know y'all think, Melody, you know, black don't cry, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, y'all ain't getting sunburn out here in these streets. Okay, but there is a such thing as UVA rays, all right? They can affect you through the aging process. So I recommend that you use a skin protectant, a sunscreen at all times, regardless of the, the myths, okay? Yeah, we might not get sunscreen as fast or what have you, but honey, I know that black people do get sunscreen because baby, I did, I'll never forget it. Shit peeled off me like goddamn banana, okay? So, use it. <laughs> so I have the Biosense Sheer Minerals, <laughs> I have the Biosense Sheer Minerals sunscreen. Um, I tried to get the sunscreen for black girls, but it was all sold out, honey. So this was recommended by another YouTuber. I think it is, I think it was the beautyologist um, as well. She recommended this, so, um, and it's also a great sunscreen for women of color or for people of color, period. So I decided to try this. And it's plant-based with SPF of 30. And of course, I used it to protect my skin from the sun, honey. Okay. And you're just gonna rub this in. You don't, I don't personally take 30 seconds. About 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> about 30 seconds to rub this in the skin and let it get up in there just with my fingertips I hope you all got some great information from my eight step skincare daily routine I hope to see you all on my next upload because you subscribed and you thumbs up this video and you also went and subscribed to my new channel, The Life of Lives of the Trees, right? Okay. Well, um, I will see you all on my next upload. I love you, naturalists. It is your girl, Liz Latrice, and remember to always protect your peace. All right, y'all, so there is actually a step that I missed um, but it didn't matter for this routine because I don't use this um, when I use my masks or when I put my masks on. So when I do not use a mask, my step two is to use the acne.org treatment benzyl peroxide 2.5%. Okay, I'll link that in the description, but I use that product and I also massage that into the skin for about 60 seconds. Okay, 
this product that product helps with preventing acne as well as combating acne that's already on your skin or that's already relevant so that is a step two when I don't use the mask so remember I do one cleansing two is either the mask or the ben the benzene or excuse me the benzyl peroxide okay and then three is either I'm going straight into my um, straight into my toner or I'm going into my exfoliant if I don't use the mask god that sounds confusing as hell all right well I hope you guys just have the video and you watch it over and over again <laughs> to make sure that you get my steps down. But basically this is my eight step routine, all right, daily to weekly routine. I'm over it now. Now that I realize that like, dang, I don't even freaking use them. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs>